All right, we're outside now. These guys here, the sun is just killing me, but um, there's a uh, couple heavy brokens in there and three really nice broken. Uh, I believe there's two does and a buck. I just want to look at you fellas. These are out of Charlie and Mr. Goodbar. So these three pretty brokens, obviously I'm going to take them to show. The heavy broken doe is going to a lady who wants to breed it with uh, red buck she's getting from me. She's kind of messing around, just getting started in reds. The uh, heavy broken red buck is going to go to a lady with her kids, I think maybe from 4-H Project or something like that. Uh, let's see, what else? We got Zero and Avalanche. They're babies. This is their first litter together. There's six of them. She had six. Saved all six. Beautiful babies. Big, muscular looking babies. They're going to be some nice summertime state fairish era. I think they're going to end up being seniors at convention. So, really nice whites. The whites that these guys are producing, I can't even explain how mega awesome they are. It's awesome to have that kind of quality in your rabbitry. Just powerhouses of muscle. I mean, almost every one of the litter. When you get the good quality and you pay for it and you keep breeding it and keep it tight, it makes a huge difference. Alright, so we'll go inside and uh, look at the bucks. Like I said, I'm going to be splicing these two videos together because I run up a bunch of time and a lot of talk about. So, But uh, as you can see, it's still winter time. Still got the uh, tarps up. Um, it shouldn't be winter time. It's in the middle of March, right? Should be working on my garden, but I can't. It's, it's just too cold. So still got the tarps up. Going to be taking them off real soon, I hope. Yeah, not looking for the flies and the fans, I can tell you that. That's one good thing about winter. Hey, Crackle, you got your door open, don't you, buddy? All right, so, of course, you got Rolo. Everybody knows Rolo. Rolo's made a lot of good babies for us. He's pretty much the matriarch red, and they're patriarch, right? Uh, red buck we've had, and then Crackle, he's the main broken buck, and then you yeah, have Zero. Down here's Crunch. Crunch is an Uncle Si and Starburst baby. He's made some babies, but the mamas didn't keep them. So <laughs> we're uh, we're working on that again, aren't we, buddy? He's doing. He's such a good breeder. He's very aggressive. Goes right at it. I'm so fortunate. All my bucks so far have been aggressive breeders. They go right after it. And uh, he's just a really nice buck. He had a broken tail, and uh, so he got pulled off the show circuit early, which is sad because I really wanted to leg him up because he was he's really good. And uh, then we got Heath down here. Heath is a Rolo and Twizzler um, son. He has a brother that's already got a grand champion, uh, enough legs to grand champion right now. Uh, talking to the guy that bought him, his brother, this guy's brother. So this guy here, he has a leg. He's the one I kept at the time when he was younger because I um, thought he was better. And he actually lightened up on me where the other one darkened. And uh, this guy here, he's going to a, a local lady who's just starting, starting up her uh, reds kind of deal. And... She was really, you know, just a, probably more in it for me than decided as she started getting some quality. She got, um, whatchamacallit, sister. And she started getting the quality reds and she decided, well, I'm going to spend the money and get the good stuff that's already there. And So she's going to get started up for her kids, which will be really exciting. Here's Mr. Goodbar. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> Goodbar's an awesome buck. He's such a sweetheart. Oh, and of course our color is going to change. Let's see. Go with this. Tried shutting the door and it's just too dark, but it came back and the door's gonna swing back and forth in the wind. So yep, so there's good bar. He's uh we just started getting him back in condition from when we got him and uh, bred him to a few things and kind of took him out on the trail so far. So we'll see how he's gonna do. And here's one we're really proud of. And this is Smarty. Smarty's a buck my wife named a long time ago because he had this massive, pretty nice massive head on. And uh Come on, Smarty, can you pose up for us, buddy? Can you pose up for me? Huh? He's not gonna, but anyway, Smarty is gorgeous. He is such a nice type. Got him on our Facebook page. Nice picture of him there. But he is, um, went up to Iowa last week. He's been doing good on the show trail, but he's just maxed out at his junior, so he just turned 6'8 this week. And, uh, but as a junior, uh, last weekend, he, uh, won best. A variety so he's the best broken both shows which is super awesome then the set like I said the second show uh, Avalanche or Andy's won best opposite variety and went on to win best opposite 
sex breed, but he won best variety both shows. That's and that's against some big time national competition. I mean, big time stuff. That was awesome. Pretty excited for him. He's ready to go to nationals next month as a as a uh, higher end six eight. Hopefully, you know, another month on him, and hopefully he'll do pretty well there. Get himself up on the board, huh, buddy? Yeah. And the other up and coming buck that I have, and he is like shedding like crazy. As you can see, all his hair on his pin here. Look at that. Well, this is a uh, warhead. He's just kind of blowing his coat out right now, getting that baby coat gone, he's, he's, which is awesome because that should come in just just in time next month for uh, um, nationals for him. But this is warhead. He's the one that had the really big head on him. Um, Smarty was out of uh, um, Crackle and Miss K. Warhead is out of Uncle Sai and Milky Way. So they're all come down from my zero. They all come down from zero somehow. All these good bucks. And it has made such a difference putting them whites into my reds and broken reds. And get, once I got them back to color, the bodies on these things are amazing. It has made a difference that I can't even, I can't describe how much better it is. And as you can tell, he's just, he's gorgeous. He's going to be a nice buck. He gets so much promising, but he was just following behind Smarty, who's just a little bit bigger than him. And uh, he's actually beat Smarty a couple shows. But being that young, you know, he's got to get to that size. Don't you, Warhead, huh? Don't you, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to tell us how it is. So, <clears throat> obviously, he's going to have to, I'm going to have to get his hair out of here and get him cleaned up. Over here is just Charlie. Charlie's in here. She's getting acclimated to the bucks because she needs bread again. She hasn't been lifting. So, I bring, a, I bring a dough in here with all these bucks, get the smell around them, and leave them in here for a few days. And plus the apple cider vinegar the boys are on because it keeps knocks the smell down the ammonia knocks it right out of the air And if I haven't ever said that two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar for every gallon of water if you have rabbits there inside and the The ammonia is just too strong for you to it two tablespoons apple cider vinegar actual apple cider vinegar not the white Vinegar apple cider flavor, but the actual apple cider vinegar two tablespoons per gallon Will knock that ammonia right out of their ear and, and you can and they they'll like it. You'll like it. Everybody will be happy but that's supposed to also help does come season, so they say. But <clears throat> anyway, she's just, i just keeping her. I, I bring them in here for a couple of days and then breed them. Down here is a little red buck out of uh, Whopper and uh, Starburst. He uh, actually won best opposite variety at one show finally. And he's really young yet. And uh, I think he just turned 6'8", but he was a young junior then, like three weeks ago. And uh, he won best opposite sex variety, so he's he's the only red buck I got to show right now. And the, as far as the does, you saw Smarty and and uh, or I'm sorry, you saw what you call it and uh, hot tamales. I'm just all over the place. I got so many names, like it's hard. <laughs> but I don't have very many reds to show. I, I, I stuck with my broken so hard, and I, and I pumped a bunch of brokens out, and I've sold a whole bunch this year at shows. Um, you know because I had them, and I. And I just decided which ones I was keeping back and I can't have them all but my reds have really been kind of taking a knock because I lost a couple letters over the winter and as you know I've lost a few more yeah, since then and but I guess when you got more rabbits it, it doesn't hurt as bad as when you only got four or five um, this little white buck here is a brother to the two white does that I showed you out there um, littermate brother he's doing really good too he just needs to come into his, himself a little more and uh, he'll be there too, just a young, young junior buck that uh, will be really nice maxed out at nationals next month. So that's everybody, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Got a bunch of rabbits to show you. Like I said, I got rid of a bunch of rabbits. Yeah, it's just the way it goes. And uh, this is what I was talking about. I didn't talk about it in the other video. I just blew through it, forgot if I had, haven't had these since the last video. But all these, the extra cages and stuff. This is a two foot by three foot three hole stacker. It saves me a bunch of space by doing it this way. I still want my hangers because of the, I need a place to put the manure. But as far as time, it don't save me because I have to mess with the uh, the pans more. As you can see there, I have to pull those out and dump those with the ones outside. And then I clean up about every about every two months. We're doing a cleanup and uh, selling our manure for about five bucks a bag. And uh, we get about 15 to 19 bags every two months. Every couple months. That's what I meant to say uh, if I didn't. Again, my mind's all over the place because I got a lot to do. <laughs> I'm trying to squeeze a video in. So um, it keeps you busy. Uh, 
this cage here is going to go outside with these have the babies weaned out in and I'm going to put another one of these in so if you can picture it that cage is going to come out and another one of these is going to go in so then I will have 18 holes for grow out show rabbits right now there's nothing in these just don't have them sold off whatever but you need that space so the babies can have their own you know they can have their own space to live in as juniors and maybe six eighths to grow up decide what you want to do with them so they're not pulling each other's hair or fighting they need space probably don't have enough still but that's gonna max me out I can't do any more than that so that'll be it for us one more cage like this goes right there this cage goes out on the end of the run out there and then we got these for extra doe cages so we could run more does so what it looks like where I plan on being two white does four or five red or four or five broken I think I can only do five and four and maybe keeping the extra one in you know just kind of running in the two by two cage when they're not bred so probably five red five broken two white that's pretty much where we're going to max out at. Everything else will be babies grow up for show. Stuff like that. Alright, so I guess that's enough. Two big long videos. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.